Hello everyone, Jules here. Today I would like to talk about a very interesting book which is an anthology of the writings of Alistair Crowley. And the name of the book is Diary of a Drug Fiend and Other Works by Alistair Crowley. So here is the book. It's a hardcover book and it was first published two years ago or three years ago in 2018 but this is the 2020 printing from last year. It's quite a thick book as you can see there's 930 pages in here because it contains uh, about six major works of Alistair Crowley. So I'm going to talk a bit about what is contained in this book but it is an important grouping of Alistair Crowley's best known and most important works. Uh, it includes the Book of the Law and the Book of Lies and it's very well done. It's very well organised and I really like this book. It's a hardcover book and I don't recommend or I don't review many hardcover books on my channel because my book collection only contains about, um, you know, 25%, a quarter of my whole collection are hardcover books. And that is because hardcover books tend to be more expensive and they also take up more room. But I like to recommend hardcover books if they are more affordable. And this book is surprisingly affordable. I only paid $30 Australian for this. So that is remarkable, truly remarkable for a good quality hardcover book containing so much of the work of Alistair Crowley in a very good quality hardcover version. So that is a remarkable prize. So that's another reason why I'm showing this, this book. Now I'm just going to talk a bit about what is contained in this book. There is an introduction, it starts with an introduction of about eight pages, which is a really good idea for people who would like to know more about the man, Crowley himself, to read the introduction. The first book in here is a novel, it's called Diary of a Drug Fiend, and it's a semi-autobiographical novel, and it, it mainly contains Crowley's personal thoughts in regards to life and magic. So that is why it is a semi autobiographical novel but the names have been changed. It's not exactly like his own life but it is very much uh, his own personal musings and thoughts uh, particularly in regard to life and magic. So, and it's a very interesting book. It does touch on um, the type of drug use that he occasionally did. He occasionally did use drugs for different reasons. It wasn't all to do with uh, the visual uh, effects. So he, he talks about that. So it is, it is interesting. It's not just a book about drug use. So it is, it's more than that. The next novel is called Moonchild. That is a really interesting book because it's also semi-autobiographical. 
but it contains a lot of um, famous occult personalities that he knew and and the names have been changed so it's really really interesting to read to just um, get a bit of a uh, bird's eye uh, behind the scenes look at the interaction that went on with the different types of personalities who were engaged in magic and, and a lot of these uh, occult personalities were uh, people that Crowley knew uh, as members of the Golden Dawn or people who were connected with the Golden Dawn. So it's very interesting to read that novel as well. The next work in here is Household Gods and that is a short play. Then the next work in here is the Book of Lies and the Book of Lies is quite an important book of Crowley's because it has um, 91 verses 91 verses which are about Kabbalah concepts so for people who would like a bit more insight into concepts about Kabbalah it's very interesting from that point of view so there's 91 verses in regard to Kabbalah so it's all to do with Crowley's wisdom and insights about the concepts of Kabbalah so it's very interesting too that's the book of lies then get into the Book of Law, which was which is probably the most important work in the anthology. Because the Book of Law is the foundational text of the Lima, which was Crowley's philosophy that he created. And for people who want to know about what the Thelema philosophy actually was or came to be, it was received by Crowley in 1904 over a period of three days. So this book of the law is narrated to Crowley by three Egyptian gods. So these were the ideas and the concepts of Thelema that were received by Crowley telepathically. And it also contains mysteries, so esoteric mysteries and puzzles and riddles. And it's mainly to do with mysteries and especially of the Egyptian gods because the Egyptian gods and goddesses were the, the pantheon, the only pantheon mainly that uh, the Golden Dawn used was always the Egyptian pantheon and Crowley continued to work with the Egyptian pantheon uh, in his own philosophy of the Lima after he left the Golden Dawn. So in the Book of the Law, there are three chapters all, all up. So it contains three chapters of 75. There's 75 verses in total. 75 verses. So it's all, it's all there in verse, short verse form. So Book of the Law is very important. Book of the Lies is as well. They're, these are the two most important works that are in the anthology. And then the final one, the final work is, is called White Stains and they are selected poems of Crowley. 
and he was also his poetry was also very good too. He he was a very he was a prolific author, but he wrote um, at, at quite a high standard. He was a Cambridge scholar, so these writings are quite brilliant. Uh, then they may not be easy to read, but they are profound and they are very interesting and never boring, just like Crowley himself. He, he was always interesting, never boring. So they are, there's, yes, there's six, there's six works in here six works, six main major works and, and two of them are very important as I said, the Book of Lies and the Book of the Law all in this anthology Diary of a Drug Fiend and other works by Alistair Crowley it's published by Sirius Publications I'll put the details below the video but for a book of this standard over 900 pages it's just so well done and for people who want to have the most important works of Crowley all in one book and for people who have one or two books of Crowley and they want to complete their collection of, of the important works of Crowley then this anthology is really worth getting. So I am very impressed with this book. I'm really glad that I have found this book. I only bought it recently. And I like the idea of all of this being in, contained in one hardcover book so that I don't have to buy too many more separate uh, Crowley publications so this this really is a great publication so I'll put the details below the video and I hope you enjoyed hearing about this anthology and as I was saying I think it's it's great value it's it's just a fascinating book and uh, it, it may just be for the Crowley fans, but I think it's really worthwhile. And I wanted to show the book and mainly tell you about what's contained in the book today. So I hope you enjoyed hearing about that book. And I'll put some details below the video. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.